plus 10. I thought you'd say 5 and then 5. So it'd be like oh. 5 plus 5 plus 5. 15. Welcome to episode 15. Uh, in this episode, we're just going to talk about, like, um, you know, Taekwondo and how it's affected our lives, and then, what, like, kind of our takeaways or our kind of point of view of how it's helped us or not. I mean, I feel like it has. Yes, absolutely. All right, so positive. All positive. All positive. Uh, let's start with that. Master Hoyle, how did you get into Taekwondo? Uh, being my dad's Navy military, we moved around quite a bit, and uh, they needed to throw me into a sport. And uh, you know, watching Power Rangers, Ninja Turtles, just those TV shows, I always did something around the house, and honestly, it caused a little ruckus too. So they needed to help me drive that focus elsewhere. So they threw me in a studio, or not throw me in there, but. Uh, uh, here we go, kid! Ooh. Get in there! Uh, we were living in uh, Hawaii at the time, and they uh, there was a studio on base, so that was really cool, really convenient for us. Uh, so I actually rode my bike there most of the time. So, yeah. And I remember my first day was, one, it was on marble floor. I had to do push-ups, jumping jacks, and squats to even attempt to do the class. Oh, wow. Like, that was the trial to even be in the studio. Um, so doing that for about a year and a half or so, and then we came to California late 1999, and then started at the uh, 99. <laughs> and then March 9th of 2000, started with the studio uh, in Ventura County, and been there for 20 years. You know? Yes, sir. Yeah, it has to give you that focus. Yeah, it definitely goes by quick. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, yes, sir. Uh, I started uh, a little bit different reasons. I wasn't quite as rambunctious as Master Oil. I was a little more reserved very shy child. Uh, my dad had done a little bit of Taekwondo back when he was in high school. My brother decided he wanted to be a ninja. My dad said, fine, let's check out the different studios in the area. There were only two at the time, a karate studio and a Taekwondo studio. Uh, my dad said because he had Taekwondo experience, we had to continue in Taekwondo because he had gotten his yellow belt as a teenager. Yellow belt? Yellow belt. Oh, like, that way he didn't have to start at white belt. When we got there, been with the same instructor for over 30 years, but that instructor basically said, no, you start over, which I thought was hilarious as a kid. So we all started at White Belts together. I've been training for over 30 years. And it's been uh, it's one of the things that's really helped me get out of my shell. As an extremely shy kid, I wouldn't stand up, wouldn't do oral book reports in class, would never raise my hand, would not participate. And uh, having the guidance of our Taekwondo instructors has really pushed me through that. It was a fantastic experience growing up and going from uh, someone who couldn't stand being in front of people to someone who loves having an audience. Sir. He does. <laughs> yeah. How about you, sir? <laughs> sir, I mean, I think uh, similar to uh, Master Hoyle, not so much with the uh, rambunctious, but more just uh, growing up watching Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and different cartoons and always wanted to do martial arts. Uh, my mother had uh, two friends, one taught karate, one taught Taekwondo. Somehow I started doing Taekwondo and uh, my instructor originally was one of your instructor's students. And then um, and that kind of out from the East Coast, so it gave me a connection to California. And then, um, you know, after high school, I ended up moving out to California to teach Taekwondo. So really, Taekwondo is one of those things where, like, it's uh, led me through my life and actually led me to California, which I've stayed ever since. Um, but same thing where it's just like, you know, you start off and, you know, I start off with my little brother and you kind of work your way up. And, you know, it's just more about, like, at the time, you know, doing a physical activity, you know, doing a sport, um, and then that just grows into something more, something more, something more, until now where it's like, you know, teaching, training, and it's like I can't imagine what my life would be like without Taekwondo. So that's absolutely crazy. Because similar to Master Hoyle, I grew up as a Navy grad, so we bounced around a lot. Uh, some kids learn how to make more friends that way. I was the opposite. I didn't learn how to make any friends because of that. So getting out here and doing it, and what Master Hutchinson touched on about how it's kind of affected and driven his life in certain areas. Uh, my wife currently is also a fourth degree black belt, and I would have never met her if it wasn't for him coming out from the East Coast. She was yeah. a friend of his out there. So. Really interesting how it's kind of intertwined everything and even led some of us to different parts of the world. Yes, sir. And biggest highlights are when I, you know, because of the martial art world, I got to travel where Taekwondo came from, Korea, in case you didn't see that in the other videos. But I uh, got to train out in 2010. I got to stay at this university and train with the demo team. Uh, they were one of the best as far as demonstration teams go in Korea, uh, out of Daegu. And I actually got to watch a competition while I was there. So unique, so unique, especially tournaments out here in the States, you know, we do like 
forms and sparring with them one day. They separated completely. One day is all forms, one day is all sparring, and they throw a show in the mix there too with some demonstration teams. Very nice. It's very, very cool. cool. Yeah, my first trip to Korea was in uh, 2011, and I actually got to bring my daughter with me mm -hmm. on a uh, Taekwondo kind of sightseeing slash training trip. And uh, those were some of the most memorable times uh, just to be able to uh, go there for the first time with her, train in Taekwondo, but then also see all the sights of Korea. It was very nice. Uh, I've too been to Korea. Uh, mine wasn't as fun filled. Uh, our instructor sent me to Yongin University to train with a sparring team for a couple of months by myself. It was a the first couple of weeks were rough, but they ended up being super friendly people. It's neat to travel the world and meet people through Taekwondo because you know they're like-minded. So, and once you break through the uh, ice that is sometimes associated with some of the teams, it ended up being a, a treasured experience. And then I have gone back also as a sightseer, and those were a lot more fun. A lot more fun. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> in there, in that. Oh, okay, I'll do that again. Good time. <laughs> Any like highlights? Any highlights? Master Hoyle, just like out uh, when you look back at like from this point right now, when you think about Taekwondo, is there any like top stories or top things that come to your mind? Honestly, one of the biggest top things that I've really appreciated being in this, you know, uh, my dad being military, he retired last year, 30 years in the Navy, and there was a lot I didn't realize about military was the focus and drive that it gave people and how. Um, you know, commanding officers help their juniors, very similar to Taekwondo, your seniors, you help the juniors get them to the next belt, get them to the next rank, and it gives you that focus, that drive, making all those goals, and especially even, uh, I wasn't the most academic kid in school, um, but one of the things that, even coming to the studio, that they made it a point was school, school, school. So, sure. yes, you can be good at kicking and punching, but how do you be a good individual as you grow and become this young man? Oh, so especially all those instructors and masters, like touching on that, uh, help gave me that drive, that focus of all these highlights and things that I got. It's just the focus that came with it, the yes, drive that came with it, the motivation. That was super big. Right. You said one big highlight that stands out. I, I mean, I was just, I was, uh, I was thinking about it. And it's like uh, there's so many, you know what? There's so many highlights. There's so many highlights. <laughs> there's so many different things. It's like, do I want to go funny? Do I want to go this? Do I want to go that? Uh, but I think you know what comes to mind right now. Uh, Master Stolzik and I tested for a seventh degree together, and um, through our years of doing Taekwondo together, uh, there's different points where we uh, miss testing. So there's actually Master Moore, Master Quan, two other instructors that we uh, grew up doing Taekwondo with, and uh, there's certain testings that we uh, tested together. I actually tested for a sixth degree with uh, Master Stolzik's dad, who tested for a seventh. So there was a point where really from like you know for me fourth. Fifth, sixth, I was kind of out of rhythm with uh, Master Stolzik. And then for seventh degree, we were able to test together. So that was like a big highlight because we got to train together, then test together. And really, the next goal would be to uh, test for our eighth belt in uh, Korea together. So that's like something I'm definitely looking forward to and um, I'm excited about. So. A trip full of highlights. Yes, yeah, so that would be a highlight reel. Highlight reel. How about you, sir? Yeah, the same thing. There's so many. Could list all the cities we've traveled to, all the things that we've done, all the things that we got to experience by traveling to cities to coach or compete in Taekwondo. And there's uh, there's so many great ones. It's really hard. Just to tell us what. Uh, San Antonio is a beautiful city. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone who was traveling there with me at that time, sorry, but I hope we had a good time. <laughs> but having San Antonio, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to stay in San Antonio. Is that is that how it goes? I think so. <laughs> it's like that. It's uh, another question on everyone's mind is, have you ever had to use your actual Taekwondo skills for self-defense in the street? Well, um, yes. Uh, a few times, a few times. You know, I mean, listen, it's one of those things where, um, you know, I always say, like, you see these things and it's like, two-week self-defense training, six-week self-defense training. And uh, people come in, they ask about self-defense and how it works and all this stuff. And, you know, it's... We can give like the short answer, which is yeah, we can do it. Or I always say it's like you just train your mind. You've been uh, well, however old you are, 10 years old, 15 years old, 20 years old, 50 years old. You've been trained to react a certain way. And if you're trained to react a certain way, chances are a two week, three week, six week program isn't going to train you to react in a different way. Uh, since we've been t doing Taekwondo obviously so long, our reaction is a little bit different. So when things happen, just like out on the streets, you react. A certain way, and it's usually you know 
It has been in the past in my favor. So, uh, you know, I won't get into all the little stories, but it has uh, worked and it has helped me. And I uh, knock on wood, I haven't ever really had any problems. So, you know, part of that uh, as a teenager doing Taekwondo compared to who I am now is just being able to uh, recognize situations, talk to people, and diffuse it. So um, when things come up now, I definitely uh, have a certain reaction to make sure I'm safe, but I want to make sure that like I'm also, you know, keeping everyone else safe. And um, I'm a good, like Master Hoyle said earlier, kind of the like, things that are driven into us is just like a good person in your community setting a good example. So. How about you, sir? Any, any, uh, it sounds like you want to tell a story. <laughs> oh, no, I was just going to see if I can get you to tell a story. <laughs> uh, no, same thing. Obviously, never believe in your martial arts career. You're going to have time where you're going to have run-ins. I've always felt that those who could should. So if you see something and there's a problem, and not that you're interjecting to become part of the problem, but to be part of that solution to stop a fight that might be happening or to prevent certain things, there's been numerous of times that we've been able to do that. Uh, Master Hudson and I in Santa Barbara a couple times have been able to interject to make sure that people aren't getting hurt in the middle of fights. I find the biggest thing is the confidence that comes with training. Uh, the student creed as far as our Taekwondo school to build true confidence, the knowledge in the mind, honesty in the heart, strength in the mind. Sorry, knowledge. <coughs> you, might want to, that you might want to really look at that. Uh, that's uh, turn your white belt, you need to know. To <laughs> build true confidence through knowledge in the mind, Honesty in the heart, and strength in the heart. And it basically enables you to handle yourself in any situation. So you can talk well, you're making the best choices in life, and if you need to jump in to help to make sure someone's safe, you have that skill set and that confidence to do so. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How about you, sir? I've actually never had to physically use my. Uh, That's the way that 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 But I kind of touching on Master Soul, I've definitely had my fair share of helping people diffusing the situation because being a martial artist not just about kicking and punching we we find a way we find there's a solution to a problem we're very flexible um, or we can be very flexible uh, depending on the circumstances but i've never actually had to like use my moves or anything like that just be able to talk it out be that humble person that great example especially especially being an instructor and master we gotta set that example for our students so you know even here he's like well my brother Andrew was like Should, was that really the right answer no you already know the answer you know, Sir. can help build those uh, positive uh, thoughts instead of, you know, I always say the worst version of ourselves are the, the, the angry, doesn't think, just goes out on belligerent, whatever. Uh, the best version of ourselves are the ones who are going to be focused, work hard, stay positive, even in the worst situations. So, you know, I've never, so, no, I've never had to really ever nice, use those techniques. The way it should nice, be. Yes, sir. It would be great if none of us ever had to use any of our techniques. Sir. Just that too, that we can just go sign up for a tournament, you know, spar if you really. Yes, sir. Break some boards. Break some boards. Yeah. Alright, remember, uh, like and subscribe. Smash that notification button. And the biggest thing is to start your own adventure. I mean, you've got to hear our adventures through Taekwondo and how it has brought us together from all around the world and how we've gotten to travel the world and see exciting things. But it starts with that one step. It starts with you. Making that phone call, finding your local studio, getting started. I don't know if people use the phone anymore. I think it's just that you click and search on your phone. Yeah. And then you step on the floor. But I don't think you call them. I don't know if you call them anymore. Send an email. Send an email. Do you Google search? <laughs> I just do the yeah. Find a spot where you can get started. Uh, and find a spot that. Uh, is really teaching that family atmosphere because that was a, a huge thing and why I believe we've all stayed at Taekwondo as long as we've had this. We are our chosen family, so not just your given family. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, thank you for joining us on this 15-episode uh, adventure with the Korean Cultural Organization. We want to thank you for um, having us come up with this series. So thank you. Make sure you uh, watch all those videos, like and subscribe, and like Master Stolson said, get out there and start your own adventure. Yes, sir. Jump!